Hey everybody, welcome to the kitchen. The Chew, one of my favorite shows, did a you know best burgers of the year thing a couple years back, and I, I flew in to make my traditional Midwestern butter burger that we make at AZ Canteen. And Michael Simon was making one of his burgers, and he scattered onions in the pan and caramelized them, and then pushed the burger down on top of it. But I sat there and I said to myself, Oh my gosh, that's that's brilliant! And then last year I went to El Reno, Oklahoma. I went to Sid's Diner where they've been making a regional specialty referred to as Oklahoma onion burgers. And they caramelized huge mounds of onions and then put a little patty on top of it and spread it really thin across the whole deal. So I sort of now make a hybridized version of that. Probably the most important thing that we do with our burger is get a piece of butter. And yes, I actually use the bun this way. I get it wet with all the butter that's there, about a tablespoon, and then just drop it so you toast your burger bun first. The next thing I do, cut my onions in half and slice them thinly in half moons. And I usually use about a half onion per person. Mm. All right. so. Take some more butter, throw it in the pan, and let's caramelize some onions. Remember that onions have a lot of water in them and you can't brown in the presence of moisture. Sprinkling a little bit of salt will help pull the water out. Using a hot pan, especially a cast iron one and spreading them thin, will get you to crispy onion heaven faster than any other method that I know of. While the onions are caramelizing, I'm gonna make my patty. If you overwork your patty, paddling it with a lot of seasoning and stuff like that, you're going to have a tougher burger. I'm just a little bigger than the size of the bun to account for shrinkage. I'm gonna season that liberally with salt. So the key to this, obviously, is nice thin onions. So the way that they do them at SIDS is they pull a pile of the onions over, they lay that down right on top of it, and squish. The meat itself hasn't come in contact with the griddle yet. The onions are getting super dark and caramelized. That beef fat is melting down on top of them. And when we flip it, onion and burger are gonna meld into one in a way that's absolutely beyond your wildest dreams. And just a gentle push. This has got about 30 or 45 seconds left, and in that amount of time, you can ask yourself the one question that's really crucial at this moment, cheese or not cheese? And I'm guessing someone like you is gonna say cheese. No, you're not gonna say cheese. But now would be the time to put cheese on. Let's turn this off. So texturally, you have the soft, creamy, sweet onion, and then you have that beautiful charred burger. We're just gonna let that rest for a second, let the juices return to them, just like a good steak. Now I will do a little secondary seasoning here. That's onion burger perfection.